conversion of one ZT to another ZT. Example. A ship leaving San Diego in the plus 8 ZD at noon of June 3, 2022, for the Philippines in the minus 8 ZD, estimates that 29 days and 18 hours will be needed to make the trip. At what ZT and date will she arrive in the Philippines? Given. ZD of departure is equals to plus 8 hours at San Diego June 3, 2022. ZD of arrival is equals to minus 8 hours at Philippines. Days and time traveled is equals to 29 days and 18 hours. Required. ZT of arrival. Solution. ZT of departure is equals to 12 hours 00 minute and 0 second dated June 3, 2022. Added by the ZD of departure which is equals to 8 hours. The result is the GMT of departure which is equals to 20 hours 00 minute and 0 second dated June 3, 2022. Added by the steaming time which is equals to 29 days and 18 hours. The result is the GMT of arrival which is equals to 38 hours 00 minute and 0 second dated June 32, 2022. Subtracted by 30 days and 24 hours. The result is the GMT of arrival which is equals to 14 hours 00 minute and 0 second dated July 2, 2022. Added by ZD of arrival which is equals to 8 hours. It is minus, then why we add? It is because we reverse the sign then add one day of the date. The result is the ZT of arrival which is equals to 22 hours 00 minutes and 0 seconds dated July 3, 2022. I know that you have questions in mind. And that I need to answer each. Okay. To begin, where did we get 24 hours and why we subtract 24 hours? It is from the complete hours of a day and a complete day is equals to 24 hours. If the computed number of hours is greater than 24 hours, it must be subtracted by 24 hours and we must add one day to the date. Where did we get 30 and why we need to subtract it? Well it is from the complete days of a month, and that includes in the instance of leap year. I will share to you my technique how to memorize the number of days of a certain month. Okay. Focus and come closer. January has 31 number of days. February has 28 number of days, it has 29 number of days when it is leap year. March has 31 number of days. April has 30 number of days. May has 31 number of days. June has 30 number of days. July has 31 number of days. August has 31 number of days. September has 30 number of days. October has 31 number of days. November has 30 number of days. December has 31 number of days. Using the time wheel to visualize the problem and for plotting purposes. ZT of departure is 12 hours 00 minute and 0 second on June 3, 2022. GMT of departure is 20 hours 00 minute and 0 second on June 3, 2022. Steaming time from San Diego to Philippines is 29 days and 18 hours. GMT of arrival is 14 hours 00 minute and 0 second. On July 3, 2022, ZT of arrival is 22 hours 00 minute and 0 second on July 3, 2022. Crossing 180th Meridian. Example. A ship sailing eastward crosses the 180th meridian at 11 hours 30 minutes. ZT in minus 12 ZD of June 6, 2022. What is the new ZT and date of crossing? Given. ZT is equals to 11 hours 30 minutes on June 6, 2022. ZD is equals to minus 12 hours. Crossing 180th meridian. Required. New ZT and date of crossing. Solution. ZT is equals to 11 hours 30 minutes on June 6, 2022. Added by 24 hours and subtract one day to the date. 
The result is the ZT of crossing which is equals to 35 hours 30 minutes on June 5, 2022. Subtracted by the ZD which is equals to 12 hours. The result is the GMT of crossing which is equals to 23 hours 30 minutes on June 5, 2022. Added by the ZD which is equals to 12 hours. The result is the new ZT of crossing which is equals to 35 hours 00 minutes on June 5, 2022. Add one day to the date and subtract 24 hours. The result is the new ZT of crossing which is equals to 11 hours 30 minutes on June 6, 2022. Okay, I need to answer your question one by one. Why we add 24 hours to ZT? And why we subtract one day to the date? Well it is because ZD is greater than the ZT. So, we need to borrow one day to add the hours. Then why we subtract 24 hours here and add one day to the date? Well it is because the hours exceed 24 hours, so we need to subtract it by 24 hours, and then add one day to the date. When crossing the 180th meridian a problem always confronts the navigator as to proper date. The simplest way of determining it is by applying the zone time and the date of crossing, plus or minus the ZD of the zone. The result is the GMT of crossing, sign reverse the ZD of the zone, to be entered. The result is zone time and date. Using the time wheel to visualize the problem and for plotting purposes. ZT of crossing is equals to 11 hours 30 minutes on June 6, 2022. New ZT of crossing is equals to 11 hours 30 minutes on June 6, 2022. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for you will be updated for our next upcoming video.